Yo guys, Spider here, and I want to give you a bit of a rundown on the actual scoring system for the score streaks. Now, I know I did a score streak review video a few days ago, and I actually have some updates, so I'm going to go through it really quickly. But I have an image here updated with all, with basically with the score that is currently required for all of these score streaks. Note, they may tweak this before the game's release, but that's what it is right now. So... Again, I'm going to go through them each real quickly just to give you a description because I missed some in the last video. RCC, or uh, RCXD, I don't know why it says RCC. Aroma Control Car Packed with Explosives. UAV shows enemies on the minimap. Hunter Killer, airborne drone that seeks out and destroys a nearby target. Care Package, airdrop a random score streak. Counter UAV, temporarily disables enemy radar. Guardian, projects microwave field which stuns and impairs enemies. Hellstorm Missile, an air-to-surface missile which can be scattered into a cluster bomb while falling. Lightning Strike, launch a coordinated lightning strike on three locations. Death Machine, your own personal handheld minigun. Woohoo! Uh, sentry Gun, an automatic sentry gun which can be remote controlled. War Machine, grenade launcher with rapid and semi-automatic firing. Dragon Fire, remote controlled quad rotor with lightweight machine gun. AGR, airdrop an autonomous ground robot that searches for and destroys enemies and can be remote controlled. Stealth Chopper, calling the Stealth Helicopter, which does not appear on the enemy's minimap. Orbital VSAT shows both enemy positions and direction on the minimap, cannot be shot down. And I believe that uh, there is no defense against that, no matter what perks you're running. If they have an Orbital VSAT, you are painted on the minimap. Escort Drone, get personal air support from an Escort Drone. Warthog, that's pretty cool actually, I like that Escort Drone thing. Warthog, jet aircraft that provides close air support with several strafe runs. Uh, EMP systems temporarily disables enemy electronics. Lodestar, the Death Star, Lodestar, lays missile targets remotely from the Lodestar. VTOL warship, be the gunner of a powerful VTOL warship. K9 unit attack dogs that hunt down the enemy. And swarm, calling a swarm of lethal hunter killer drones that search and destroy enemies. So we're going to take a look at, well, how do you get score? And it's different from XP. And uh, all the Gamescom footage, I believe, I mean, they're all private match, right? So you're not going to see how XP is distributed uh, through various methods and kills and, and assists, etc. Headshots, extra XP for headshots. Uh, the score system for the score streaks uh, is what we're going to look at from the Gamescom footage. So let's take a look. All right, so let's just take a look at uh, a regular kill, and this doesn't change uh, depending on whatever game mode you're playing. 100 points, 100 score streak points for any kill, and you can see the bar on the right-hand side just to the left of the actual kill streak or score streak rewards that are set up for your class or for the player. It's not actually clear if you can set it up on a per-class basis. So you see that meter go up, and once it's at the top, then you get your first score streak reward. Uh, what I'd actually you like to see is uh, your accumulated score streak points uh, as an indicator maybe the top of that bar or something like that just to tell you uh, which one you're working on because we'll see in this next shot here so here we see a player who has a UAV he just calls it in now and you you really have I mean right at this point I mean obviously you're gonna keep track mentally but you really have no clue now what uh, what kills or score streak reward you're working on right um, and especially if you're spectating, if you're in COD, CODcaster mode, uh, right now, if I'm looking at, if I just switch to him right now, I wouldn't know necessarily that he has called in a UAV. So uh, it may, you know, there may be something more to add there. But so what we see from the screenshot is that UAV assisted kills. So you've put up your UAV, you've painted targets on the minimap, and your teammates are getting kills on those painted targets. You're getting 15 points per shot here adding to your score streak um from those assists so that's that's pretty good that's pretty cool so it really you know reinforces uh getting the score streak rewards that are going to complement your entire team because then you'll get points basically assist points for those you know and the other thing to note is that they're not it's not a horrendous number of points i mean you're talking 15 per assist and uh Typically, UAVs in uh, COD games are up for 30 seconds, so, eh, you know, I guess it depends on the game mode, uh, how many points you can accumulate just from UAV assists. Okay, so we're going to carry on, and uh, Big Timer's going to get a kill here for another 100 points, you can see. So he's got his care package reward, and another UAV, UAV assist comes up. 
And you saw how the bar sort of filled, and then it uh, filled part way again. So he's got his care package, and it's going to continue filling there. Now, one thing uh, we should note from this image is that uh, it looks like an assisted kill. So he didn't get the kill, but he damaged that uh, that player on the enemy team. And it seems like he gets 75 points for that. That that seems a little high. That does seem a little high um, to get 75 for that and his teammate to get 100 for the kill. So I'm not sure about that. That may that, that may need to be tweaked, but uh, yeah, 75 points it does seem slightly high just for an assisted kill. So you can also see here he still has his care package that he can use, um, and that 75 points because they were accumulated after he died, they still go towards his first score streak reward. All right, so here's another clip that seems to contradict uh, what we've just been talking about. You see, he got the the kill there for a hundred. Uh, he had a UAV up, so he's getting a UAV assist here as well as a regular kill assist uh, off of uh, Optic Ray. So Optic Ray is the one that killed him. He had damaged Optic Ray, but it seems like so the UAV assist, if is if is uh, if it's a standard 15 points towards your score streak, then the assist here is only 50. So perhaps it has to do with how much damage that you've actually done to the enemy player. Uh, because, again, as we saw in the previous clip, it was Team Deathmatch, uh, the assist kill was 75 points, so in this case it's 50. So, again, maybe maybe it's based on how much damage. Um, I'm going to look at uh, some more footage and see if I can get a clearer picture or not. Uh, now, here's an interesting one here, a Death Machine. A Death Machine kill doesn't give you 100 points, so you're using a score streak reward here to uh, get a kill on an enemy player, it's only worth 25 points. That's kind of interesting. So, um, and perhaps that is the case for some of the other score streak rewards uh, that get kills for you, but uh, we will see uh, in a second. Uh, one thing I should point out is that these points, like they they stack, right? It's like Modern Warfare 2. I mean, you know, to get your uh, kill streak rewards, you can get you can get a kill streak reward and then the points or the kills that you get from that reward go towards your next kill streak reward whereas they change that up i mean obviously in uh in uh, black ops and and modern warfare 3 you had to get kills you couldn't stack your kill streak rewards uh, on top of each other to get more kill streak rewards uh although the the point system is different i mean you get less points for a kill for like we're seeing here with a death machine kill it's still going towards your score, your next score streak reward, basically. Another thing we should note here, and I really like this because I just found out about this the other day in Modern Warfare 3. If that um, and watching a game that uh, that Hypermole uh, had uh, had recorded, that it, when you get your kill streak rewards after you get your third reward, it sort of resets. You don't have to die in order to start all over again. You can just keep getting kills, and you'll get your first, second, third. Uh, kill streak rewards again. Well, what we're seeing here is that uh, there's no meter. If you, you see the meters empty, just to the left of the kill streak rewards, he has all three of them available. He just got an additional 25 points off the death machine kill. It's not filling the meter. Therefore, it looks like that uh, you're going to have to die in order to uh, regain or or get those kill streak rewards again or or score streak rewards again. Um, but because they persist, I don't think until you use them, you won't accumulate points. And perhaps if he had used uh, one of them here, then accumulating the points again would go towards uh, refilling that reward. So uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see uh, how it works out in November. All right, so here's an interesting one. We're switched over to hard point, and here's a kill. Kills on hard point are only worth 50 points, and this is because, again, this is an objective-based game mode, and perhaps we will see that in the other objective-based game modes, where you're going to get more points for completing the objectives versus getting the kills. So here on hard point, you only get half the points uh, towards your score streak rewards uh, as you would for like for a kill, as you would on uh, uh, game such as uh, game modes such as uh, Team Deathmatch. All right, so what you're going to see here is actually securing the hard point location, which is going to give you 150 points. So that's in that right there to me is awesome. Again, 
you're giving a lot more points for achieving or completing an objective than you are for kill whoring. And that, that, ladies and gentlemen, going back to my video on the whole score streak rewards review, is why I am excited for this because it's going to promote uh, objective gameplay way more than we ever saw in any other Call of Duty in the past. That's that's why I'm excited. Ra that right there, ladies and gentlemen. That right there, yes! All right, so let's take a look at some more stuff. Let's see what else we can find here. All right, so let's take a look at a couple more elements. The first is going to be a counter UAV assist. And I'm assuming, I, I mean, I guess, it makes more sense for a UAV assist if the enemy's painted on the your teammate's minimap. I mean, you're assisting them in that kill. Counter UAV makes a bit less sense. Maybe that's why it's only 10 points as opposed to 15. Or maybe it's because we're running um, in hard point, the objective game mode. But, um, and I would assume that uh, if the player, like for the UAV, if the player isn't or is running Ghost, if that play, if the enemy player is running Ghost and your teammate gets a kill, you wouldn't get an assist because you haven't helped them because they're a UAV. And I think, I wonder if the same would go for counter UAV if the enemy team member or team uh, player was running Hardwired, where they're immune to counter a UAV, would you still get those assist points? So we're not going to be able to find out this information until the game's released, probably. All right, the second element here is uh, the Lightning Strike kills 15 points each on the hardpoint game mode. And what I'll probably do after this video is done at some point in the future is do a summary video for you guys. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm babbling on and we're going through it as like sort of on the fly. But I will try to do a summary video maybe next week sometime for you guys just to bring it all together in a much shorter video. Yay! So I did find uh, this footage for a UAV assist, and uh, UAV assist in hardpoint is only plus 10 score streak points. So uh, we've just verified basically, uh, depending on the game mode you're playing, and this could be uh, very, very different depending on the game mode you're playing. Uh, so here, we're basically, we're two-thirds of the points that we normally get uh, when we're playing Team Deathmatch, and uh, like I said, for the kills at the start, you know, a little bit earlier, is that you're getting half the score streak points that you would in a Team Deathmatch. So here's another good one on the side of promotion for objective gameplay. You actually get 125 points for killing a defender inside the contested area on hard point. So you're getting 75 additional kill points simply because uh, you're a defender, you are killed the defender within that contested zone. Epic. Yes! And uh, here's another example of reduced uh, points for a... A kill assist, you're getting 25 instead of 75 in uh, in a team deathmatch. All right, so we switched over to Domination, and it's pretty similar to Hardpoint. So similar to the other objective gameplay, uh, killing an attacker at a flag location is worth 100 points. A regular kill is only 50 points. We're also going to see uh, points... Uh, that we got, or the player got from a hunter killer, 15. Again, uh, the death machine on the team deathmatch gave us 25. So from score streak rewards, you're getting 25 in like TDM slash free for all games, and you're getting 15 in objective based game modes. All right, last one here is actually capturing the objective, very similar to uh, the hard point. You're getting 150 points for capturing a flag in domination. What I want to do is take uh, one last look at search and destroy and see what we got there. All right, the last one we're going to look at is search and destroy, and it's pretty straightforward. It's 100 points per kill, uh, as well as, uh, I believe, 100 points per, per bomb plant. Uh, and or defuse. We only see, we only get to spectate. They played two matches at Gamescom. We only got to spectate one bomb plant. We didn't get to spectate a defuse. And uh, here's the bomb being planted here, and we get a hundred points. Now, one thing to note about search and destroy is that typically, again, in competitive games like this, they have score streak rewards turned off. It's obvious to me that they'll be available in regular public matches. 
um, because you're getting score streak points. I mean, they'd have score streak points turned completely off if that wasn't the case for Search and Destroy. Now, the one interesting thing, because, and I'll go into this in another video, is the whole league play versus regular public matches. Uh, in the league play, are they going to have different rules for the different game modes? We're not sure. I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, so this video has gone on long enough. I know they did uh, capture the flag as well, but I'm not going to review it. It's probably going to be fairly similar to the domination and the hard point set up for score. Uh, here again is your listing of score streak rewards and their corresponding points. Hopefully I didn't, uh, you know, I ramble on, but I wanted to cover this stuff in detail and perhaps I will do a summary video if you guys request it of me, but it will have to wait probably until next week when I I'm back uh, from vacation. We got a cottage booked. I'm going to be going up to the cottage uh, this week. And um, we'll be back in full force next week. So let me know in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, this is part, you know, this is why I'm excited. You can adapt the score streak points by the game mode. And that is absolutely fantastic. So uh, this actually just came up today as I put a little bit more thought. Sorry, I wanted to add something into the tail end here. Um, so, for instance, in Search and Destroy or even Team Deathmatch, if I have RCXD, UAV, and Hunter Killer set up, and I'm assuming you can pick any three you want. If I have those set up, let's say it's Search and Destroy, I get four kills, uh, or I get three kills plus a, a bomb plant and or, uh, or a defuse, I can get literally three score streak rewards with one kill. So I'll have an RCXD, I'll have a UAV, and a Hunter Killer all at the same time, which I, it's, I don't know, man. That seems really... I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. Because, I mean, Search and Destroy, if you can set it up that way, that would probably be the ideal setup. I mean, you're going to try and pick the lowest, uh, the lowest uh, score streak uh, reward as possible because I mean you're not, you know I mean you can get 20 kills or 14 kills to get you a swarm or whatever but uh, ideally you want to get the those uh, score streak rewards as quickly as possible and RCXD may get you another kill as well as the hunter killer will get you another kill perhaps and uh, and the UAV will obviously help you uh, get kills as well as get assist points from your team so I don't know if I really like that. Uh, that's, that's a, probably a big negative for me, and uh, you're going to see Search and Destroy plagued by RCXDs, which is, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but, uh, those are just my thoughts, and it does seem kind of odd that in one kill, you can essentially get three score streak rewards all at the same time. But we'll have to see how it's set up, and maybe it is set up similar to Modern Warfare 3, where you can't pick... Uh, the ones that are, you know, if you get a three kill kill streak reward, you can't pick another three kill kill streak reward. I, I don't know. We'll have to see when the game comes out, right? I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I like it and I don't like it. I'm Spider and I'm out.